Hi, it's me again with the HP uh, Spectre X360 15 inch. I did make a an unboxing video a couple of days ago and it's already got nearly a thousand views. So thank you very much everybody who's hit like on that. Um, there's been a few questions and I thought I would uh, take the opportunity to make another video to answer some of those and try to go into a little bit more detail about the specs on this thing now that I've had a chance to play with it. So here I'm just showing you a shutdown and a restart just to sh give you an idea of the speed. You can see here with my uh, with the screen blank that you can see a bit of a glare, a bit of a reflection of my messy bed there. There's a pillow and a sheet of paper and a mug sitting on the bed. You can see that. I'm deliberately leaving it like that. It is quite a bright, it's a bright-ish day today. It's during the day I'm filming this and I wanted to, one of the questions, oh, there's the, uh, the Windows Hello. Uh, looking for my face. took a little bit longer than normal just because uh, I wasn't sitting directly in front of it, but it's usually very, very fast. Uh, this is the, the GeForce GTX 1650 um, Ti Max-Q graphics card, NVIDIA graphics card. You can see it's a 7 core, it's the 10750H CPU. So yeah, one of the questions was, uh, what's the screen like during the day? How bright is it? So we'll see. So let's just have a little look here. I'm going to play you a video. This is a um, the HD video that I played in my unboxing uh, the other day. Which if you haven't if watched, you please do. For the right keywords, you should try keyword um, magic so yeah, you can still see my reflection rock. in the bottom right corner. You can see this sheet of paper on my bed. Um, that is 400 nits, I believe, the, uh, the 4K um, UHD... LED screen, which this one is. Um, I think it's pretty bright considering it is during the day. Um, the question was what it would be like outside. If it was a very, very, very bright day, you're still going to be able to see everything. Obviously, it's not going to be the same as if you were tucked up in bed watching a movie, but I think it is adequate. And the balance is, of course, with the battery power because um, the brighter the screen, the quicker you're going to get through the battery. So, um, talking of the battery, I did use it for a solid uh, 12 hours yesterday without needing to charge. Um, it wasn't heavy intensive processing or anything, it was just flicking around, messing about really. But uh, here, so we can see uh, on the side here, there's a little micro SD slot here, which I did not even realize was there. There's a little camera kill switch in case you're paranoid. And there's the USB-A uh, super speed port and also two USB-3 type ports also super speed. They would go with the likes of uh, this little cable here. This is actually the charger for the pen. There's speakers on the bottom and on the top sound is very good. It's playing to you now. On this side we have the power button on the corner. Um, we've got the power port, an HDMI port and a headphone jack. There's more speakers on the top. Bang and Olufsen, if that means anything to you. So here's the little uh, tilt pen and the cable for recharging that comes with it um, for uh, touch on your screen. Plugs in like so and then a little uh, light lights up on the top, red when it needs charge. I think it goes like white when it's charged. So I've heard people saying there's no way to put the pen, it's true, but it is magnetic at the front. It's part of the, uh, the the sort of the snap down feature for when you turn it into a tablet. But there are magnets uh, at the front, and the pen sits nicely. Um, stops it rolling away. It snaps against the side as well, which is quite handy. And also in this little pouch, which I didn't realise first time. Um, I will just actually I'll just show you how snug and smart. There's the pen can slide in the top there and it just looks feels really nice 
in the case and comes included in the box if you saw my unboxing you will know that yeah it's a nice little case i i, uh, I smelt it and said it wasn't leather i really don't know if it's leather or not but uh it's good quality and it does the job protects it it's nice and padded charger or power lead this is 135 watts i don't know if you can quite see that there not really but uh, it will charge your laptop from completely dead to 50% in just 30 minutes. Um, so I would assume then it takes an hour to do a full charge. So tablet mode then. I'll just try and give you a quick demo of that. Flips around. Gives you the option there. Do you want to switch, switch to tablet mode? Select yes. And there we have it. And you can use your pen, you can use your finger, either or. So um, you can write rather than type if it suits you. See if this works. Editing. Yep, we got it. It's the first time I've been into this store, so it's maybe loading slightly slower than would have I been in there before you can select something whatever download an app which I'm not going to do yet because I'm not sure which video editing I want so here's where you switch from tablet mode back to laptop mode tablet mode it's a little button in the bottom right hand corner where notifications are so for sleep wake, it's in sleep mode at the moment, just to show you how quick the uh, the hello Windows Hello works. So if I touch the trackpad very gently, because it works really well, and that's how quick it's got me in, really, really, really fast. Um, no messing about, it hasn't let me down yet. There's also a fingerprint sensor here, if you prefer to use your fingerprint. That's another way of doing it. Um, I have to say, this trackpad, I am barely grazing over the top of it it is so so sensitive it's the precision trackpad just feels lovely works really well no heavy banging on anything and the keys sound good feel good it's just nice okay the fan has come on because i'm doing some video downloads uh, somebody said that they thought their fan was very noisy so let's have a listen I don't really think it's that noisy. Certainly not from here. And that's it, just gone off. Wi-Fi 6 for gigabit file transfers. Um, obviously my Wi-Fi is only as good as uh, the Wi-Fi downstairs, which actually I'm in the attic, so we'll see. What can I look up? Let's go for the HP Spectre Store. UK HP store, uh, 169999, comes with the pen and the case. So somebody asked me about the webcam, so I'll show you how it's looking. Here is me. Now, not ideal because the window's behind me. Let's see what happens if I put my light on. Mm, let's see. Not great with the window. Let's see if I can turn around a bit. So that's the camera with plenty of light. And uh, I suppose we'll have to wait till it gets dark before I can show you what it's like when it's dark. And here we are, it's dark. This is the webcam, all lights off. It's just the light from the screen. And I'm just gonna leave you with a couple of pictures here of what was uh, printed on the box and a few still shots. Uh, if you've watched all the way to the end, well done. It's nearly 10 minutes. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's been of some use to you. I'm not actually a YouTuber. I could just see that there weren't many 
unboxing videos of uh, for this particular model so I could see the need and went ahead and did one so if it's been helpful and you've enjoyed it give me a like anyway you never know HP might send me a mouse or something <laughs> thank you